we'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Good morning, Piper. morning good morning so let's give you a little garden update we'll show you the good the bad and the ugly so let's do a tour all right so let's start with the bad one lemon zucchini and i don't even think that it's gonna or lemon cucumber i don't think it's gonna survive here is the ugly oh my goodness all of our cucumbers here that we bought as starts died. So I've buried them down so that they'll turn into mulch. And then our other snapdragon is surviving but not doing great. But our pumpkins are doing pretty good. These guys survived. They did take a battle, but they made it. And so then ah, and here's the kohlrabi doing pretty good. Now it got pretty cold. We planted a little bit too early. Here is the, well, this is the broccoli, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the broccoli. All of them survived. They weren't happy for a while. And then here's a pumpkin plant that survived. Here's a zucchini plant that survived. It was the only, well, I got one over there too. And these guys did not make it. And all of those dark zucchinis died. That one I'm not sure if it's going to survive. That one's probably dead. But I got a new one coming up right here. Hopefully the other seeds I planted will come up. But it's been pretty cold. Here is the good. We got lots, lots, lots of Swiss chard and some lettuce coming up. Um... I think I might need to restart the corn. These guys don't look good. They're very stunted. But I reseeded a black bean and I got one and I got two so far. I planted several in here. We'll see how many come up. And then our Brussels sprouts, oh my goodness, they flourished. They loved it. And the early cabbage, um, yeah, kind of suffering, but I think they'll survive. And then here's a kidney bean that decided to come up. And our sorry little bell peppers, they might survive. Not sure about that one. And then our tomatoes. Tomatoes doing pretty good. Not too bad. We have some cold damage, but they, they rallied. But the tomatillos, we'll see. I'll give them a little time. We will buy some more. But here is the awesomeness here. 
green beans started in the ground from seed. So far we have four. So they're doing pretty good. And we're waiting, well, I say five. That's a weed. <laughs> and then my favorite part is the peas. So as you can see, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six big ones. We have a little one here. We have a little one there. And I gotta find the last one. Where's, oh, that one right over there. There's another one trying to come up here. So that is the update so far on the garden. Tomorrow I need to come in here and pull a bunch of weeds. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with them having to have gone through a cold snap. So that is the update. We'll give you an update when we start planting some more. Wasn't that a beautiful garden tour? And it's been a few days since that tour. And we have added a few more veggies into that garden. And they're growing. I even have some more still here. Just starting to sprout and almost ready to go into the garden. But because we have a garden going and I just contacted a you pick farm locally and in a couple of weeks they're going to have a lot of stuff that is going to be available for picking that I need to clean out my freezer. So to help clean out my freezer I'm going to be making a breakfast casserole today. It is gluten free. There's no worries at all and you don't even have to make adjustments to make this. It is keto, it is gluten free. What's in the casserole is two cups of thawed shredded hash browns, a half a cup of thawed shredded carrot, a half a cup of thawed shredded zucchini, six eggs, one pound of ground sausage pre-cooked, so I pre-cooked this sausage, six and six eggs, and then salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. I covered the top of it with, as you can see, shredded cheese and baked it at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. 